What's going on guys? Some more Minnesota Vikings franchise now in week two of the preseason here in season three of this series and we're going to start it off by looking through player management here. I was looking for Denard Robinson. I wanted to see who picked him up if he was a free agent and I could not find him. Apparently he was not drafted and he didn't get put into the free agency. So I, I really wish that in Madden 13 they give us some bigger classes because I don't want fake undrafted free agents. Just take some guys from NCAA so we have real players and these guys don't disappear. And we're going to sign Ian Williams to a contract. Need another defensive tackle. And so I signed him because he had really good strength and really good block shedding. So here we are back at the Dome taking on Dominique Davis, the reigning rookie of the year on offense, taking on our Vikings. And so into the action now. Davis out of the shotgun on third and 12 playing against our starters for the first half today and he is sacked by D'Angelo Hall he puts the ball on the ground it's picked up by Brian Robison and so our offense will take over from the Washington 15 Tim Tebow in because of a formation sub and to the end zone he goes to Noel Devine and that is the first points of the day with a 7-0 lead now. Davis and the Redskins back on offense, and he's back to pass. Great protection from his offensive line. He finds Leonard Hankerson. And then caught in third and seven. Davis out of the shotgun. Back to pass. He's going to roll to his right and fling it left, and it is going to fall incomplete. And so our defense holds. Well, he quickly punted it back to the skins and Davis. He's going to hand it off to Saws and Shaker. And I hope I'm saying that correctly. He's a rookie out of Utah. I looked him up online and apparently he had his career ended because of concussions. But he's still in the game here in our draft class. And then Davis over the middle. And that's going to be complete to Jonathan Sheehan for 14 yards. Now at the Minnesota 34-yard line. Davis, he's going to pass once again. Good protection. He's going to go all the way to the end zone looking for Hankerson. And he comes down with it. D'Angelo Hall was not able to make an adjustment and go up for the ball. And the ref comes out of the stands. And he's like, yep, he caught it inbounds. First and 10 now. Ponder gives to Peterson. And he gets away from some defenders. And he spins away. Rudolph out in front. No need to block anybody because Adrian Peterson can handle this himself 77 yards for the score that's what you get when you have an explosive running back like Adrian and now Davis back on offense with the skin second and ten he's gonna look right and that's Austin Colley making the catch in between a bunch of Redskins and there'll be a first down but now third and nine out of the gun flinging it right quickly for Hankerson and Donald Butler knocks it loose Hankerson drops it, and so now we take over on offense with a seven-point lead. Ponder play action, and he's going to throw it left to Peterson, who jukes out a defender and breaks a tackle, spins off another guy, and if I wouldn't have juked right there, I could have got some extra yards, but nonetheless, it's a first down, a, a very pretty nine-yard gain, and now handoff goes left to Noel Devine with a sweep, and that's going to be a first down, 13-yard carry. like to get Noel Devine in there in the running game, and third and ten now for Ponder, looking over the middle, and it's batted away, looking for Michael Jenkins. And so we punt it back to the Redskins now midway through the second quarter and Roy Hallou takes a carry up the left side He is going to pick up a first down We had a lot of trouble last year with stopping the run hoping we can improve this year first and ten now Dominique Davis play action and he throws it over the left side and it's picked off by the second year man Jamel Fleming and he's gonna try to cut it across all the way to the other side I should have just took up the right side but anyways it's preseason that's what I do and we get the interception but we don't do anything with the drive, and then Roy Hallou takes the handoff. He's going to get into long-distance field goal range for a first down. And then from the 29-yard line, looking for a conversion on third and short. Davis play action, and he's going to throw it to the end zone. Double covered, and it is incomplete. Batted away, and so the Redskins settle for a field goal, and Minnesota takes the field now on offense, and Ponder's going to pass, and he finds Kyle Rudolph, the man who is now our starting tight end after a huge attribute gain last year and 96 catching you can't go wrong there and then ponder looking for noel divine on third and seven and he is unable to come down with it another drop for divine and now with just over a minute left in the first half we have the ball and ponder has great protection he's going to roll to his right and try to throw it up field and it's picked off i don't know how to pronounce that guy's name I looked it up, I think it's Luke Keekley, and he's going to get him into long distance field goal range off of the interception. Bad throw on my part, and they worked their way inside of the 10 yard line. Pitch left to Shakerin, 
and he is tackled into the end zone. Touchdown, Redskins. They take the lead. Minnesota not done yet. 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Ponder pumps, looks deep over the middle, and Michael Jenkins makes it past the 50-yard line into the Redskins' territory. Now from the 48, fourth and 16. One second left. Everybody runs streaks. Ponder loads up and heaves it to the end zone. Over 65 yards to the air, and Percy Harvin comes down with it. Deep touchdown grabbing. Vikings excited about that. They're Super Bowl champions, defending Super Bowl champions. They're still getting excited about preseason games. Now, we got the lead in the second half, and Matt Flynn in that quarterback. And, hey, that's why you're not starting. Nice overthrow, about five and a half yards, six yards maybe. Couldn't get the tape measure out there to measure it, but that was a, a very bad overthrow. And the Redskins are going to take over now from the 23-yard line. And Kalen Lindbergh in the pass now at the quarterback, and he finds Brandon Banks on the left side. He'll get uh, some yards after the catch and get him inside of the five-yard line. Now third and goal out of the gun for Lindbergh, and he's back to pass. Tight shot confirmation. He finds Phillips, and he is hit by Jamarcus Sanford. Drops the pass, and so they kick a field goal, and now are down by one. Have the ball again. Lindbergh, great protection from this rush, and he finds Brandon Banks, and he's tackled by D'Angelo Hall into Minnesota territory and third and one now trying to convert keep this drive alive Lindbergh end zone one on one and it is batted away by Jamarcus Sanford good play on the ball third and ten Matt Flynn still in at quarterback he is going to pass good protection looks left and he was looking for Kobe Hamilton I believe and it was knocked away and so now we're punting the ball to Brandon Banks and Jelani Jenkins comes through Spears tackles him Fumbles the ball and it's picked back up by the Redskins, so good hit by Jenkins. He has really good hit power, that's what I like to see. But the Redskins keep possession, handoff right, high tower, and he's got some blocks, and he's got a bunch of green in front of him, high tower into Minnesota territory, and he is very slow it looks like, and he's caught by Alfonso Smith, DeAndre Reed is finally there to take him down after 76 yards. Now from the three yard line, high tower is going to finish it off with a touchdown, and so high tower does it by himself on that drive, long touchdown run, and then punch it in, and Washington takes a seven point lead, Gerhardt then takes a carry from Flynn and he's gonna go up the middle pick up a first down we're at midfield now Flynn back to pass he looks for Kobe Hamilton who makes the grab that'll be about nine yards on the play call it eight as we get towards the 40 yard line now need to get to the 40 for a first down and Gerhardt is stopped Good push from the Redskins on our backup offensive line, and so they're going to take over now, closing seconds of the third quarter, and Hightower goes back with the carry, and he's going to be tackled by Jelani Jenkins, and Jenkins shaken up on the play, and it is a broken jaw. Come on, linebacker troubles, we are full of them. Third and three anyways from the 38-yard line. Lindbergh back to pass. Right side, Brandon Banks with the catch. He's going to be at the Minnesota 29-yard line. Now third and four from the 23. And looking over the mill for McGee, and he's hit by Taylor Mays. And that is going to be causing an incomplete pass. And now Flynn from the 18 looks deep over the middle for Emmanuel Arsenault, the ex-Canadian Football League star. 28 yards and now enter Tim Tebow. It's fourth quarter down by 10. It's Tebow time. Tebow looks over the middle for Devine and Devine with another drop. Not very good catching traffic, I guess. Redskins take over third and one. Now Lindbergh gives to Roy Hallou, who goes up the left side. He'll pick up the first down tackle by Jamarcus Sanford. And they're getting some good pushes on our defensive front. But Lindbergh's going to pass on first down for Brandon Banks with another grab. He's going to get to the Minnesota 40-yard line, tackled by D'Angelo Hall. Now third and nine. We're looking for another stop and shaker in. He's met by Herzlick, and he puts him down for a short gain. And so they come on and kick the field goal. Down by 13 now. Four minutes left. This is a Tebow time situation. Fake the sweep, and then throw it to Devine, who gets away from a defender. Spins off another one. He's going to pick up about eight yards on the play. Need bigger gains than that. Now Tebow back out of the gun. Second and two, rolling to his left, and it goes over the middle. And there's Noel Devine making the grab this time past the 40-yard line to the 43. Second down now, Tebow with Gerhardt to his right. Set up a screen for Kobe Hamilton who has blocks on the left side, Divine out in front, and Kobe Hamilton, is he going to do it again, two games in a row with a 50 plus yard screen pass, touchdown Minnesota now down by six, two minutes to go, third and six, need a stop here, Lindbergh gives the shaker and goes up left side, breaks a tackle, and is taken down by DeAndre Reed, fourth and one, we will get the ball back, second and eight, 
Tebow, Gerhardt to his right again out of the shotgun, and Tebow looking over the middle, that's complete to Mark Harrison, close to a first down, make it third and in inches now. This is an important conversion, Tebow out of the gun, quick pass right to Gerhardt out of the backfield to get to the Redskins 40 yard line now. We have just 28 seconds remaining, one time out on the clock, second and eight, man in motion and Tebow back to pass, good protection, looks over the middle and Vasante Shenko comes down with a grab. He's going to get us inside of the red zone but we need a touchdown, a field goal will not do. Tebow hurrying everybody up to the line so he can spike it and he throws it down at 11 seconds remaining and so with one timeout got a couple of chances here second and 10 Tebow back to pass right side Emmanuel Arsenault dives into the end zone touchdown Minnesota Tim Tebow did it for us in the preseason now gotta get the extra point and take that lead look at this team we're so excited for a preseason game look at these guys Anyways, gotta go kick the extra point now. We got Chris Cluey in there because, well, the computer likes to switch up the depth charts on me and do every position all weird, and Chris Cluey knocks home the extra point. And so, one chance left for the Washington Redskins, two seconds, and Lindbergh back to pass, throwing it as far as he can, gets to the 40-something yard line, and it is going to be batted away. And so, Minnesota holds on for a one-point victory. Tebow in the fourth quarter worked like magic, and we got the victory. And so that concludes the second preseason game we can go through here and see the statistics. Tebow with three touchdown passes in this one. Shaker in 45 yards on the ground. Roy Hallou with 65. Adrian Peterson, 82. And Kobe Hamilton, good day, receiving another screen pass for a touchdown. Devine and Harvin also had scores. Look through the defense. Now D'Angelo Hall with nine tackles all over the field for us. And DeAndre Reed had a sack. And Jamel Fleming had an interception. And so, good game for us. We got to get some cuts through now. We're going to get rid of our backup tight end, left end. Basically, a bunch of undrafted free agents that have really bad attributes. And so, we'll go through now. And we have two more preseason games. Next up, we have the Philadelphia Eagles. We'll travel to Lincoln Financial Field for that contest. But until then, a couple of videos for you guys to check out. On top, we have the first preseason game we played against the Green Bay Packers. Very odd to play your division rivals in preseason. But anyways, we did. And then we have on the bottom, the offseason and the NFL draft. An episode I think everybody likes. I love the offseason myself. I always have through all my years playing Madden. So you guys can check out those videos. And then I'm going to go through and get the rest of this preseason up. And we'll get on to the regular season in season three. Everybody have a great holiday vacation. And I'll See you guys later.